God, and I'm standing here with these awesome paintings that Joe Pulowski did to illustrate this current sermon series, Parables of Paradox. And so this first one is the parable of the prodigal son, and you see the son coming home and the father embraces him, and it really does an awesome job of expressing uh, the love of our Heavenly Father, that we all of us are prodigals in life, so to speak. In James 3, it says we all stumble in many ways. And when we stumble, we need to have that heart of repentance to run back, literally into the arms of a loving Heavenly Father. The next week, we talked about the parable of the wise and foolish virgins. And it's kind of showing us in this awesome portrayal that there were five virgins who had oil ready for the soon return of the king up in the corner, and five did not. Oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. So it's calling us to live that life that is close to Jesus, that we're ready for the soon return of the Lord, and, and we have uh, the measure of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And then last Sunday we talked about uh, well done is not just for steak, and it's kind of that statement of Jesus that he says to those who had the five talents and the two talents well done good and faithful servant enter into the joy of the Lord and so it's calling us to be faithful that we are all gifted by God and Joe did this awesome portrayal of all these areas of giftedness and the well done uh, up by the cross and the face of Jesus and really almost nothing is better in all of this journey of life than to hear well done from the Lord when it's all said and done, so to speak, and we all stand before him. And then this week coming up, just in a couple days, this Sunday we talk about Lord when. It's the parable of the sheep and the goats, and, and Jesus blesses the sheep that you visited me when I was in prison, and you you fed me when I was hungry and you clothed me and the righteous say, Lord, when? To the Lord. And it's, it's that awesome portrayal of the fact that it had become such a part of them of doing unto others uh, that they do it and they don't even totally realize it. So we'll talk about Lord, when? And Jesus there equates himself with the least of these, that we've done it, we've done it unto the least of these, we've done it unto Jesus. I'm super excited for Sunday that we will have in the house, we'll have a goat. Shout out to Shireen Kirsch. We'll be talking to her about uh, kind of raising goats and her interaction with goats. And, and then we also have a, um, a portrayal with slideshow of the great Keith Green song about the sheep and the goats. So we're really excited about those things. We'll also be referencing uh, the final kind of Sunday of the series, Choose an Attitude of Gratitude, in this sense, that we're going to do a reverse offering on that Sunday, uh, on the 22nd. And what that means is we'll make available 25 gift cards for people to go and to bless somebody uh, that is in need and extend a blessing to them. And then we're asking people to come back and tell us uh, the stories of blessing. So God's doing some really cool stuff. We invite you to be a part. We invite us to get excited. Uh, please be in prayer over these final couple of Sundays of the series and uh, give, uh, send it out to friends and family that we would make an invite to them as well. God bless. See you soon.